ये Greetings to you. I am Elijah Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality to my people. The original black nation of the earth that has been lost from there on for the past 400 years here in the Western Hemisphere in the United States of North America. I would like, since there are so many questions coming up concerning Elijah Muhammad and his followers and the teachings that he is teaching to the so-called American Negro, the lost and found members of the original black nation of the earth. Know for truth, since that the election of a <coughs> ruler for the people of America for the next four years, is now being searched for. The election called the national election where two parties and two men run for that particular office, the greatest and the most honorable office of the land the President of the United States of America. The time in this day that this particular election is now taking place, the poor so-called American Negro stands almost confused over who he should choose to be his ruler for the next four years. He has been disappointed ever since the first president, George Washington, in trying to get equal justice, uh, have an equal opportunity, and being recognized as an equal human being among the human family of the earth. He today now faces the most crucial of his history in America. These are the most, I repeat, the crucial days and time of the so-called American Negro. The whole nation is all confused. The nations of the earth is confused and is angry with each other. The time of trying to build and <coughs> carry out with strength and force that ideals, aims of the American people and its government are uh, her national citizens and others throughout the earth 
that is dependent uh, in some way or another on the health of America. Here stand 22 million people. That is all but slaves of the first denomination. Pardon me, the denominator. They have been here suffering, pleading for justice every four years and eight years are as long as there is another election. For the past 100 years of their so-called freedom from servitude to slavery, these poor people today is in a critical time and at one of the most critical periods of their history in the Western Hemisphere. They're at the crossroads where that they must decide for self and for the future of their children, their nation, are uh, be completely blotted out as a people among people that is worthy to be recognized as an equal human being. I declare to you, and the, pardon me from the most sincerity of my heart, that you, my people, should be the most careful of all people on the earth in passing your decision today in America. In this election and for the future of your own people. You're not at the <coughs> decision or to make a decision on the future of your people under the repeated almost changes of government in America between the two parties, Republic and Democrat, every four years. But you have arrived at the crossroads to decide not only for temporary future condition under the American government, but you at the time where that you must now try and come to a decision on whether or not that you will remain forever a subject to the same people that your father were brought into subjection 400 years ago. Or whether or not that you will vote firmly among yourself for a better future for yourself and for your nation, your children, on whether or not that we shall turn to our own, do something for our own self, turn to our own kind, turn to our own God, turn to our own religion, Seek some of this earth that we can build a future of peace, 
freedom, justice, and equality among ourselves, as other nations have done. 